go. The Empire was fire on the Empire. If anybody ago, from the hotel, uh, Aqua would like to use the trolley as a squad medic, that'd be great. I don't play Minecraft bland. Hey, 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 this chat. Minecraft. I don't play. I have a Simon. So Sell Dream if you want to move why, over to squad medic for trolley. That'd be great. Oh, God, Bassbeard, did you make this mission? I'm just going to slip back up on our channel because that's uh, getting a little messy, ain't it? So we're back on Lagasola. We saw a mission of it last time, which uh, drew out pretty well. Oh, my lord almighty. Yeah, you go upstairs too? Um, no, I'm just yelling so loud from downstairs. <laughs> no, I'm up here. Uh, you'll never guess what I did. And I can say it freely now because all evidence of it has been deleted. What'd you do? Showed my face on stream for about a split second. I saw my face in the. I went up to change it, my tie, and then I, I I sat back down, and for a split second I saw me in the preview monitor and went, oh, fuck, and pulled it down immediately. I deleted the vod, switched, uh, did a new stream so that people could actually watch it back, and then I made sure to go and delete any and all clips. But, uh, fun time. Good job. I hey, failed. Better than you. <laughs> hey, that's always a plus. So that's it looks like it's not a high bar either, but yeah. Blue four. They do have boats, but Op four doesn't know where Blue four spawns, which I think is pretty interesting. Uh, I'm gonna switch the music just in case this is copyrighted. I'm just doing a test right now for payday stuff. I don't think any of the payday stuff is copyrighted, but hey, better safe than sorry. Who the fuck is Smutton? What's that? Do I want to know who Smutton is? No, he's an old TSP player. Well, before my time, evidently. Yeah, it was pretty good. EJets26 uh, e asks, Niru, what's wrong with your face? No, he's talking about your face. Well, Absolutely disgusting. Face. Yeah, everyone on my stream saw your face. It was, it was pretty funny. Sorry to say. So, Blue 4 has three terminals that hit in non-sequential order, pretty much the same as last round, except there's a third terminal site, but we have some actual port towns here, and then a little village. Actually, that might be a military base. We'll have to see once we load in, but Blue 4 spawn is unknown, and there's a new set of assets, but Blue 4 does have armed boats, which can help them push in, but it's only going to be limited, but it's going to be the same concept of they do technically... Wait, no, Blue Force spawns in the water. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a carrier. It ha that absolutely has to be a carrier. And as we push in, we shall see that... No, not here. Yes, it is the carrier. No, it's the destroyer. It's the destroyer. Yep, it's the Liberty. Nice. The Liberty, and they're definitely going to come liberate as they T-pose into the air. That's powerful. So some people are still loading in as they are yep. floating very menacingly. But yeah, Blue Force. It's is uh, American British. American kit. Oh, are they British actually? Yeah, because yeah. they have the GPMGs and they do have the British flags these are, everywhere. Yeah, these are different uh, M4 models as well. These are the British uh, yep. M4 uh, models. Um, <laughs> I love it. On the side of the of the uh, magwell, it says restricted military, government, law enforcement, or video game use only. That's powerful. Jesus. Wait, where is this? Uh, on the rifle, uh, um, <clears throat> on the M4 rifle, on the right side of the magwell. And yeah, these are L119A1s. These are the British ones. And yeah, Ardanian's right. I, I, I'm upset that they're not using L85s. What pack is this from? Is this from BAF? Or is it something else that I'm not familiar They're L119A1s. Yes, but they are very clearly M4s. There's a different... Uh, I saw what you mean. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, video game use only. But yeah, uh, so we have British guys here, but yours makes no difference. 556 five, M4s. Um... I think these are also Negevs. No, that's no, that's a two four nine. If it okay, gave you so I love uh, it. Uh SIGs for their sidearm. Armed little bird. Actually no, transport little bird, armed blackhawk, and a bunch of ribs and uh Mark V's. Holy shit. They get the fucking SOCOM boats. Alright. And also the waves are playing with the boats again. They're going into the water. I thought they were um when they said armed boats, usually just mean speedboat miniguns, but no, they get the 
They got the fun guns, but I understand why they do these. It's so that uh, they don't have the crow system on the speedboat. Oh, yeah. Because the crow system is pretty broken. Well, they do also rescript that, too, to be like 50 cal or something, but same same issue as uh, the last round where crows is just fucking overpowered. Now, these Mark Vs or Mark Vs, whatever you want to call them, they do have the uh, Mark 19 GMGs on them, so we'll see if those are also rescripted to not have anything on them. I don't think they'll be too effective. Well, actually, maybe. I don't know. Um, Sorry, I, I need to give a quick PSA, guys. If you're um, if you're playing FNF right now and you're on the stream, please get off. I don't mind you guys coming on here between rounds or when you die. Uh, that's always been a rule of mine, especially for one life stuff. But do not, if if you're playing right now and you're alive on the server, do not be on the stream. That's all. It, it, it's not a big ask, honestly. So yeah. It, it's because at that point, then it's then you might get banned. It's yep. cheating. Like, it's a sportsmanship issue. Otherwise, we have the SOCOM little bird with the benches on the side that can carry three people a bench. Uh, we got an armed UH-60, the two boats, all of the ribs, and no destroyer guns. Big sad. Yeah, no no off-map off fucking destroyer fucking support. Mm -hmm. Can't call it in like it's fucking Call of Duty, though. That yeah. would be pretty fucking cool. It would actually be cool to have that as an asset one day for, like, the artillery side. Uh, but they'd have to have a drone operator or some sort of drone terminal to uh, use the thing. Mm -hmm. But the, Yeah, the UAV terminal. Let's but, look at um, Op4 here. They do have an unarmed MI-8. I thought it might be armed just to give them, you know, a balance to the UH-60, but that's not the case. No, not even a PKT on the uh, sides or anything. It's just... But it's, uh, it's standard Russian versus UK. We have yep, the armed so, gas, the AGS-20 is unscripted, so it doesn't have any ammo, and you got the two BTR-80s. Uh, we have some CSAT Pacific transport VIX. These are up-armored, by the way. So... Mm, not the glass, sure. not the glass, but the actual, like, armored like cabin, the they can... The cabin? Okay. Yeah, the metal is up-armored, but the windows are not. They can still be picked uh, off through that, and so... Oh, well, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's the Zamac, not the Camas, so, yeah, these are very much the CSAT yeah. ones. We'll see how well they interact since uh, what we saw last time. But yeah, like you said, just basic Russian 545 versus 556. I know that's what you love to see because it is pretty much the most even that you can get. Uh, as well as uh, PKMs for the machine guns, PKPs for the uh, MG teams, I'm sure. And otherwise, pretty standard stuff. Because BTRs are going to have the 14.5 uh, kind mm -hmm. of uh, anti-material round. And yeah, uh, 50 round box for 14.5 and a 250 yep. round box for the 762. Yep, 762 Kovacs PKT. These All are right, Marines apparently, but yes, go ahead. Marines for what op for that's that would yeah, be op VMF, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, because it's got the little uh, anchor on the on the front, so yeah, that's VMF like then because uh, VDV like the, is their like airborne themselves in the butt funny anyway let's uh I, go up to a russian sailor and tell him that i dare you anyway let's go over uh, the terminal site too i'll start with terminal one sure well terminal one is right where we're at with the red force spawn the town of asperin it is very much uh, similar to uh, what we say georgetown or uh something on tanoa very industrial uh dock area a lot more, more open sparse. though but yeah, with very, it being more open. sparse it allows them to like obviously you're going to get better frames but notice there is this giant perimeter wall around the area itself yeah so it honestly like trying to if the the mark fives can suppress the two battle towers that are mm -hmm. nearest the docks on the north side uh they could very well try for just dismounting near the docks trying to find a ladder this is actually a pretty cool map because otherwise yeah they'd have to just go to shore and then climb up i'm actually not seeing any ladders at all yeah so i wonder if the mi8 will ferry people up to the rooftops though um that would be an interesting uh idea especially these very tall skyscrapers yeah, yeah that, there's a good bit of cover for marksman idea. too yeah uh the one that's uh just south of the directly south of their spawn that big skyscraper it actually mm -hmm. has like a lip for a marksman to to duck down behind so that yeah that wouldn't be bad at all but otherwise for the attacking team yeah they'd have to uh seems like they'd have to 
Uh, the dock that juts out into the sea has some stairs that they might be able to <laughs> movement on top there of. Is, um, there, there is an Easter egg on. on the skyscraper right oh, next wow. to Terminal 1, though, on the roof. Oh, the liquor sign? Yeah. I don't know if that's uh, meant to be there or not. Like, as, uh, with like the building itself. I'm, it, it's, it's either an Easter egg by the Mission Maker or an Easter egg by Bohemia. The Map Maker. Yeah. yeah. By whoever made the asset or the map itself, so... But yeah, uh, this is, it's sparse, but uh, some very concentrated military installations, skyscrapers, as well as industrial areas. Uh, so there's this would be this would be a cool AO to attack like PVE style, but I'm not sure Op4 will have the numbers to actually hold it in its no. like full perimeter. You know, there's just too it's much. Actually, yeah, and they're already getting people moving out. But yeah, this could be um, if they play it right. If they they keep themselves fairly concentrated what the around the fuck? terminal site. And again, Blue Four does know exactly where the terminal is. They don't. It's in that building specifically. They don't have an area marked. They have a point. Um, it. it It'll be interesting to see how Red 4 handles that, because that may be a bit too much for them to handle. But moving on... I'm uh, I'm moving on to Terminal 3. I'm looking around. This is some really janky stuff, man. Like, oh, I love it. I love this. Is, this. I, I oh, don't yeah, even know got, what to say. Boxes, a destroyed mortar. Shit, this looks like fucking Vietnam. What yeah. Like flying fortress that's crashed, and someone made a fucking... Put some tarping over that and shit, like... Yeah, we got floating water bottles and laptops and briefcases. Hell yeah, dude. No, this looks really cool, honestly. Uh, not a bad little setup. Um, with the uh, kind of 76. peninsula shape it has to the north and uh, the kind of open ground to the southwest of it. Not a terrible place to defend, but it's going to be very short-sighted. Uh, both with the fog and with the um, uh, the terrain itself. What are your thoughts? I like it. I mean, it, it's this is more up op for speed. It has uh, you know a small internal pl uh, perimeter here. There are uh, waterways blocking off uh, a lot of entry into this AO, so that's going to funnel blue for uh, to come from either the south, a uh, little snippet off the SSR to the east, or the uh, little pinched area of land to the west. But there are fortifications right here that could be used, and they are really nom esque if you ask me. Uh, with how oh, these things are set place. up, so... Oh, yeah. This looks great. Um, I saw someone mention... Yeah, I saw someone mention in my chat that, uh, uh, like, these, some of these compositions are from the workshop, and that's perfectly valid um, to use Yeah. Them. But, <laughs> like, I'm seeing on uh, a couple of these bunkers, like, there's actual, like... Steal some of these. Down. Yeah. yeah. These aren't bad at all. Uh, but that's definitely why the mission file was uh, 1,400 kilobytes, which some people were complaining about. Imagine complaining about a 1,400 kilobyte mission. Lord. Yeah, but they would not last long in TSB then, that's for sure. Or TMTM. Yeah. I, I made one mission with the help of Sparky that was a good 20, 25 megs. You got to remember, the limit for mission files is like 30 megs. I think the biggest I made was like a 25 or 28. Yeah. That was years ago, was though. Too. Yeah. But I, definitely Terminal 3 will be a lot more up Op 4's alley. They can choose where to have their engagements. They got lots of fortifications here. We do have some of these mortars being actually a not destroyed. Mo Yano was able to get into the mortar just now. Oh, God. So That's I'm mortar. not sure if those have HE or not, but <laughs> interesting. That's three I mortars. I would I would think they're either out of ammo or there's, what, there's but by Yano, that's uh, yeah. There's a few. There's a there's three right there. Thing. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. He was able to get in one of them. I thought they'd like have their simulation disabled. So I'm not sure if Op4 has access to HE artillery or something, but that would be really really good to use in this AO. And I also see uh, Lucas. He's adjusting an M2. Was that part of the composition? Because it wasn't on the original roster. I think some of these statics might actually be usable. And I'm yeah, not okay. sure if they were meant to be in test because usually they have to... Test your mission they usually have to be default, uh, divulged at the beginning. Files. So this will be interesting to say the least. Yeah, I think this is a, uh, a, a honest mistake. I don't think this is some kind of slide trick by the uh, mission maker or anything. But this could, uh, if they are usable, uh, it, I mean... But I will say, based off of what's on the map, though, a lot of these composition, like this isn't the actual uh, map texture. This is all pre-built. 
this is all made by the mission maker itself. So this is completely custom, and I do like it. Mm -hmm. But Same. yeah, I mean, with some of these statics being here, and with the fact that these AO, like this is probably going to be. We haven't looked at the um, third AO yet at Terminal Two, but this is definitely going to be Op Four's Alamo for this a um, for this it's round. Be very interesting how they defend this, but mm -hmm. between the potential and the defenses that have been placed there. Um, oh. It is terminal, uh, terminal uplink. So oh, there's a tunnel it. on this map. I love yes, it. Yes, you saw the the, the uh, secret tunnel. tunnel. Secret. Wait, I'm sorry. I mean, it, it, there's a road that goes through it, so I don't think it's entirely secret. Tunnel. I love tunnels. Yeah, I know you're like going in deep holes, but shut anyway, up. Moving on to terminal two, uh, similar to terminal one. Uh, this is a port area. A few military installations scouted about, but a lot more, a lot smaller and a lot more condensed. So this might be even a tougher fight, honestly, for. Uh, wow, what's that? Because with uh, the terminal one, God damn. On the west side, that's very open, which lends the advantage to the defending team. Um, Mountain might be trying to sling load the fucking BTR. No, he's just landing. Never mind. So I think Op4 is going to completely forego Terminal 2, and they're just going to hold 3 and 1. They're going to have a major defense at 1, a minor defense at 3, and then we've got some groups kind of out and about in the in-between space, probably to work as QRF or maybe try to find the enemy helicopter and take it out if it tries to land, so... So looking at Blue 4 in the sea, a lot of the units have taken boats. They've gone for the strategy of taking a lot of various different boats to spread their forces out just in case they find a machine gunner on the beach, which is smart. But they have what appears to be the marksman team. Oh, they've got different marksman rifles, too. Or those are just uh, those might just be recolored Mark 11s there. But same 20 round magazine, uh, same weapon platform 762. So that's a nice touch. But the marksmen are going to ride in the little bird as the UH-60 is piloted by a pilot and the co-pilot is going to operate one of the guns. Helicopters are starting to spool up. Technically, they're not supposed to do that till the mission actually begins, but I'm not a narc. And then we've got both of the armed boats loaded with uh, one with 22 people and one with 11. So... Well, That's interesting, though. Start in 15 seconds. F 15 seconds or so. Oh my god, stop it. Uh, no, I'm Shut up, Shrek. Actually, no, you are that ugly. Never mind. Hey! Oh! Look at these waves, though. Look at Devincer's fucking boat. Just look at the waves. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm, the ripple's gonna fucking cause a size. It's gonna. Oh my god. Scale, you goddamn fucking boulder. God, is that your stomach or is that a tumor? I don't I'm, know. I'm surprised they didn't flip themselves, like... Yeah, I'll flip you over and go to town on you if, you don't, if you're not careful. <laughs> All right, mission has begun. I, I don't know why they're backing up. The oh, they're going to pick Mox up. That's why. I mean, they don't really have to. And then we have TSB's flip the... Scandy Recon flipped their boat! Oh, that's hilarious. I'm like, someone's gonna flip their fucking boat here. And of course it's Scandy. I... <sighs> Only half of Scandy, though. The other half of Scandy is still going. And they're all... Pierce also flipped his boat. His boat! These waves! These waves, man! TSB, TSB, TSB. Oh, please tell me they're gonna do something stupid. Uh, <laughs> they just hit me. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, they ran over Nivia. No. <laughs> the body's just floating to the ocean floor. Oh my god! <laughs> she's not even unconscious! She, no, no, she's, she's gotta swim back, back up! <laughs> she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
She could make it. Uh, it's gonna be close. She's trying. Kick those feet, Nim. Kick those feet. Come on, come on. Just breach the surface. Breach the surface. No! <laughs> How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. She was an inch from the surface. She was an inch from the surface. Oh, whoever ran her over is going to have hell to pay. And the hell well, they're in TSB, so... <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. Let's go immediately. All right, Flying Finn came back, and he's going to have enough room to keep everyone, but uh -oh. that was... That was just uh, amazing. Here, no, okay, so I've been drinking wine. I've got I've got about a shot or two. By the way, a BTR is watching the boats land. Indian comes in my chat. Are you for fucking real? <laughs> uh, she is. Tell her she was ran over by TSB too. She was ran over by fucking TSB. Who was it? Oh, who was the I don't know. The I'd have to check the footage again. It's whoever is uh the, who was in the name plus. So it might have been DeVincer, because that's the name I saw on the boat, so... Nim, this, this big-ass fucking swig of alcohol is for you. We have another boat that's literally driven to the westernmost, actually, easternmost edge. Yeah, Scandi are the most feared group in F and F. Runs over their own. <laughs> For fuck's sake! All right, so Blue Four is deployed. Uh, Op Four, they did have a BTR. Watch the landing. No shots were exchanged, though. We also have Bay Potato unconscious in a boat. I, I guess. Um, when they beached it, they injured some people. I don't know what's wrong with FNF, but usually when you give them boats, weird things happen. They just unloaded Bay Potato and he went into the ocean. <laughs> Round I two. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't even been watching what the fuck they're doing. Okay, so they aren't doing a fucking D-Day. They're trying to get on land. Oh, yeah, uh, Bay Potato. Yeah, he's, he's down in the water, so he's going to be the second casualty of the match. Before any contact has been made, Blue Force is down two people. Two pretty good people as well. Between Nim and Bay Potato, like they're Stop uh, simping. They're, they're up there. What? Stop simping. Alright, we got Mass trying to swim to Bay Potato. He's gotta drag him. Oh yeah, no, you can actually uh, like uh, just swim with them uh attached to you. Uh he's probably got about ten to fifteen seconds before he drowns. I love this. This is powerful. This is a powerful image. Oh, and he... No, he's still there. He's just now got to drag him out of the water. No, Bay's still down. Okay, so yeah, yeah. And his head is broken. There we go. And he's dead. No, he's dead. No! No! <laughs> Call the lifeguards. Blue Forest had two people that have fucking drowned. Call an ambulance. But not for me. For Nim and Bay Potato, definitely. But we got the G4 team. That would be the BTR with other elements of the BTR crew. Um, yeah, no, so um, G is the command crew for the BTR. And I just got tabbed out, Keck. Um, just and they were just engaging the landing force. Yep. Um, it was DeVincer. DeVincer was the one who ran over Nim, yep. Oh, does he, does he have a negative score? Um... Uh, my members of my chat did some uh, deduction and some investigating. And oh, probably from my. Uh, he does not have now a score. Now we have the UH-60 firing in the backs of Blue Four. What the? Oh yeah. Are you fucking kidding? Use you use fucking... the water, and use. The... Are Wait. you kidding me? Hello. Stop it! Stop it! Shut I... up, Bruh. Maybe what is happening? Why are you turned up? Because I put my mic close to my face, but I'll put it back now. Sorry. All right, so we have Mountain now. 
Is he gonna take a boat? No, he flared the boat. He, he flared a boat. Yes. Where, where is this? I'm sorry. At uh, Blue Force Spawn. He is investigating the Blue Force frigate. Tentatively. Hi. Ah, yes, the Russians have stolen Blue Force uh, frigate. A no, joyous I'm day. Really, I'm really glad there's no fucking support weapons on that destroyer. Or frigate, or whatever the hell it is, because it's just landed. Mountain has claimed it for Mother Russia. I, I gotta get a screenshot of this. He's, he's wiggling around. He's wiggling he knows he's being watched. He's just here to have dibs on the antics. All right. There's nothing good for him to steal back there, though. So Blue Four have they've got a Puva and Spudro going for Terminal Two. They're going to get a free grab on that. Uh, Blue Four they're going to have to basically go around uh, to get to Terminal 3. We might see a pincer maneuver go off, but the right, uh, the eastern group is going to take longer than the western group, but we do have Yano possibly putting explosive traps down in this area. He is under a bush right now. He's looking at the ground. I'm willing to bet he's going to put a satchel down, and we might actually see this be somewhat effective because of the limited avenues Blue 4 has to go in. So, yep, Yano putting that explosive satchel down. We'll make sure to remember it is there. And now we have the UH-60 also harassing Terminal 1, but I called it. We got Platoon 1 HQ with, uh, I think it's only Platoon 1 HQ. I don't see their marksmen up here, so they put three riflemen up here. That's weird. Hmm. But the UH-60 spotted them and started firing at them. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Like three riflemen up there with no magnified optics. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe the GLs, maybe they just want to put platoon one HQ. I guess maybe, um, I, I guess scouting would be a better term. If they, uh, from up here, they can see everything on the outside of the perimeter and they could potentially see blue four come in and coordinate because it's such a large AO. They can then coordinate op for his defense based off of that. But three guys up there for that job, like, eh, I don't know. And none right, of them are sorry. marksmen. I, I, I've calmed down. I, I, I had my fun. Uh, I'm <laughs> trying to focus now on the show. I'm still, I'm still just laughing over every uh, after all that's happened. But yeah, um, they uh, Red Force abandoned Terminal Two, condensed around Terminals One and Three. I don't. Do you want Nimia's clip after this so you can meme it? We can put it as a um, teaser for shenanigans. <laughs> that's more of a if you, you want than me thing, but uh, but hey, if you want me to do that, I, I will. <laughs> we'll talk All right. about it later. So anyway, uh, uh, we have Scandi Recon and TSB uh, both working together still. They're going to have to be defending on the uh, third round because they've attacked on both of the rounds. So in that regard, we also have Blue 4 coming down. I really hope they don't try to cross the water here because Op4 has actually put a bunker facing the waterway. And that's going to be really tough for them to cross on that. They're going to have to come around instead. Op4, because of their limited number, they're only doing an internal garrison on the terminal itself. I have also seen people go up and touch those uh, mortars, but they aren't staying on them. Then we've got uh, Swola here, who's also got a really good firing arc on uh, what could potentially be Delta for Blue 4 coming down. Well, we'll just have to wait and see at this point. Yeah, I think with those mortars, either they don't have any ammo or they, um, they they call them out on net, say, oh, hey, these mortars have ammo in them. And then their leads go, no, don't use them. That's They weren't talked about. Um, now we're having, yeah, Fred Dingo and uh, D Larson trying to uh, just a small arms fire on that UH-60. Yeah, strength. those rounds aren't going to be anywhere close. No, nah, and with 545 as well. Good effort, though. Scare them off, but that is, uh, in the end, exposing and revealing the position of those guys on that rooftop. So, uh, yeah. if they're able to pass that in intel up, then they'll know to uh, 
watch for those guys on the top, or even just take the entire building down as it is. Those skyscrapers can't be destroyed. Nim's gonna stab Devincer in the eyeballs, apparently. I don't know. Uh, violence? This is a good Christian Friday night fight community event. With 120 people. Fight against each other to the death for some fucking images of porn. Language. On these terminals. Motherfucker. Language. Barbarian, watch your fucking language. God damn it. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> language. <laughs> I think you're being cheeky. But anyway, yeah. We're just waiting for Blue Four to make a move here because they're I still know, doing their maneuver here. Terminal 2, uh, I think Apuva yeah, and Spudgerov noticed that. Shut up. Uh, they have noticed that no one in Op4 is going there, so they might work with the Eastern group coming down. Uh, otherwise, I think the pincer maneuver is actually just going for both Terminal 2 and Terminal 3 at the same time. Also, the Little Bird did deploy uh, the two marksman groups. To the south of Terminal 3, and you do have Twig Kane trying to lead on with it. But if memory serves me correctly, yep, we got Nuzzy. It's actually a triplet because uh, the plus five, it was a plus four in the little bird, and it was pilot and co-pilot. And now you're having that UH-60 fire off, but we also have yeah. that 50 cal. It was firing rounds, potentially, uh, I don't know if it was up at the chopper, but they were also coming really close to Delta. I thought they were actually firing at uh, hostiles they spotted. No, it seems to be just those helicopters trying to run at interference. Uh, Red 4 should be able to ascertain by this point that uh, Blue 4 has made the landing between Terminals 1 and 2. A BTR did watch them land, so they already knew it. And there goes a Puva and Spudro uh, initiating the hack on Terminal 2. Which means that now that they know that Terminal 2 has been hacked, we have guys down over there. Um, Falcon, Twiking, and uh, Nuzzy down here south of Terminal 3. The two marksmen. Yeah, trying to do something sneaky, but... Yeah, no, okay, so so Swola on the machine gun has noticed Delta coming down. I thought those were uh, shots potentially on the helicopter, but no, no, they were directly firing at Delta here. And we do have one of the blue four guys picked off and dead already. UH-60 trying to give some return fire. We're seeing the Marksman firing at Tackleberry, but it wasn't able to land a hit. Tackleberry is hit himself. He's trying to run down that uh, position, though, and not get shot anymore. And he is going to bandage in the open. I'm not sure if Nuzzy still has an angle on him. Uh, but we have another Op4 guy out here who is dead. And we just had AT fired onto Wiki's position. Very interesting. But yeah. we do have, hold up, hold up. We got Clown moving up in a gas. He is the uh, command group for the two BTR 80s. He might try to get on the northern flank of Blue 4 and try to hit him in the rear. Few people can do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm honestly a little disappointed in Blue Force strategy. Ooh. We're not going to be able to utilize these uh, Mark Vs, at least until they get to Terminal 1, since Terminal 2. Terminal 2 hack completed. Yeah, since that was pretty much undefended, they're going to have to use them over at Terminal 1, and even then, like, the whole point of those things is that they have firepower. They're not even going to be able to use those, so that's, that's a strategy thing. It is what it is, but, like... There's the hack, you know, exploding. Comp. I'm half joking, but what, um, with them getting Terminal 2 very quick like that, they're going to be aware of, of stuff happening over at Terminal 3. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now they are firing at Delta 2 and Platoon 2 HQ for uh, Blue 4 here to the north. My one fear, though, is that if Op 4 can hold for another 15-ish minutes... That only leaves Terminal 1 with another 15 minutes. So what we're going to have to end up seeing here is the Western Blue 4 flank is actually going to need to start pushing west instead to hit Terminal 1 because at this rate, Blue 4 is not going to have the time to hit all three objectives here. And Op 4, they have noticed that Blue 4 is back here on the southeastern flank, and they are shooting at the marksman positions. And they also had the armed gas pull in. Actually, I think it was always there. Uh, and it is trying to exchange some shots. But I think the gunner on that vehicle just got sniped out. 
Oh, in the gas? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. So, yeah, he's the well. So it, it's been weird because like if the gunner goes down or dies and, and there's still a driver. Well, we would we would have a symbol in there, but that's that's Lucius, uh, Bravo squad lead. He is dead. Oh, okay. Then yeah, then he's fucking. Yeah, you can always check the roster. If there's a skull in their face, then that's GG. Most people, ha most people have skulls in their faces. I meant name, but you you get it. I know, I'm being, I'm being pretty... Now, we also do have Platoon 2 HQ, Bassbeard, and Dreams. They could try to potentially get behind those marksman groups and shoot them in the back. And then we also have that other Op 4 Vanguard force to the south, which from Terminal 3, it is to the southwest. They could move in and fortify that position. Blue Force still not being mobile with their Western force. I don't know why they're trying to hold a defensive line there. They need to make a decision. It's like, it's, don't get me wrong, that's a really beautiful concave for like a defense, but they're not the defending force. They're the attacking force here. So I, I think they're just waiting for orders for now. Yeah, maybe waiting for a signal or something. But with oh, wait, no, it could be, it could be they're waiting for the group that went to Terminal 2 to rally and try to move both of those groups in at the same time for a proper pincer maneuver. Could be just positioning. Indeed. Yeah, now they're starting to move up slowly. This Alpha group with Moxie and uh, mm -hmm. and Yanni, they're starting to move uh, further down south. Uh, and, uh, in this situation, I would want Delta to really try and be the focus of all this fire. Keep up yep. the pressure on that uh, Terminal Three objective, and then uh, as they you know continue pushing down on the northwestern side, this other squad they start opening up and kind of doing the, this like. I don't know, almost like a disjointed bounding by fire. Marksmen are pulling back to reposition. The UH-60 just landed its co-pilot. Uh, I guess they don't have any ammo left on those guns. We also have the MI-8 in the air. Mountain's going to be flying around, but with no armed helicopters in the air anymore, those air assets are just going to be purely for recon at this point. I would really love to see um, Yano trip his explosive trap uh, and down a few guys within Alpha here. And that is Scandi Recon and TSB. We're going to see a heckin' bamboozle. But we also have Sideways with the BTR-80 coming up. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I'm very surprised that all three of that marksman fire team uh, is surviving and running back south. Uh, I think they're going to try to reposition a Terminal 1. Oh, for sure. I'm just surprised mm -hmm. that uh, the guys at Terminal 3 weren't able to, to kill a single one of them. Uh, I guess they were just, you know, in good cover or something, but, uh... They, they were well spaced out. They were on angles where they could support each other when one group of Op4 tried to assault one of, um, one of the two marksmen. And Op4 lost two guys to those marksmen. One in the gunner of the car, and if you look in front of that car, towards the water where those two trenches are, you see another Op4 body, which one of, the one of them picked off. It's got hit by an AT, and it's cooking off west of Terminal 3. Yep. It is cooking off right now, so that, that, is, a, that is a very good early... Sideways game. in there is dead. It's up to Vonk and Guy for uh, Fieri to get out. I finally said his name right. Uh, they're gonna have to get out and move in. Guy Fieri gets out, Vonk gets out, and the BTR is going to explode without doing too much damage, I don't think. Fieri yeah, Vonk was able to branch out, but he's going to get headshot at any second now. He's too exposed. Yeah, that is way too Oh, he's not crippled, though, so he's able to run back. And Fieri's in a good spot. He's trying to cover for Vonk. Both of these guys are pretty good players. Shot by Drake. Drake, Navy, Wardust over there. They're actually shooting on that position now. Yep, but we got Op4 now engaging the southern uh southwestern flank of yeah. blue for his movement they got charlene uh one of the weapons teams trying to suppress back i can't tell if this is leadership or an actual nope it is uh it is a machine gun team uh they got to get diaper in a position to suppress uh both of op four's weapon teams within charlie here but that's gonna stall this advance uh or at least lessen the amount of people to go into it which might mean that uh, Yano's explosive satchel might be a little less potent, but this is still opening up for the eastern part of the pincer for Blue Four to come in. And they might be supported by, yep, uh, Spudgerona Puva who hacked Terminal 2, but yeah, no, those marksmen are definitely breaking away to head to Terminal 1, trying to think ahead here, because we only have about less than 30 minutes for this round. 
I think, yeah, about that much. And yeah, Alpha 1, they pushed up a decent amount now. Now it's on to Delta, who they're finally starting to move. When, while you were talking, I was uh, concerned the fact that they aren't moving. The fire is com and attention is completely off of them. Now is their opportunity to set up a, a, a position on the shoreline to their south, get some real suppressing fire, and allow the Alpha squad now to push in along that narrow stretch of the, the narrow little straight of land like you mentioned at the beginning. Uh, when we were doing the pre and then uh, analyst analysis, Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> Northeastern pincer, by the way, starting to open up and engage op for uh, on positions where they're not noticing. Grav being one of the targets of that barrage, he doesn't realize yet, uh, though, so he can still get picked off. Yep. Uh, Stanners is trying to swim across the bay. I saw that. And uh, yeah, um, not sure what his plan is here. I think actually. Uh, looking from Alphar's position, the glare from the sunlight through the trees should actually do a decent job of concealing him. Yeah, well, no one's going to be looking at the water right now. Alphar's stretch, uh, stretched out way too thin right now. Stanners, being the co-pilot, he's not really tied to any squad. He can afford the lone wolf up and be a front runner here for that flank. If he can get into this AO and start picking off some Alphar dudes, even one or two kills would greatly reduce the effectiveness of this garrison. Yeah, if you can get Major Khan first and take out this, uh, you know, secure this mortar pit. Use if that satchel goes off, uh, it wouldn't be effective. Um, Moxie, Galil, yeah, they yeah, they're coming close to that explosive trap. Oh yeah, is that in the the bunker with the car? No, it's in the uh, the banana uh, bush. And it just went off, as but you say that, yeah, they go off, but no effectiveness at all. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Really, yeah. it, they would have been, but Charlie uh, opened up and slowed down the entire Blue 4 push. Also, speaking of which, uh, Op4 is pushing up a detachment of Alpha. No, they're pulling away. Okay, that's weird. I thought Op4 would try to kind of close this flank here and eliminate everybody to get some early kills, but that's kind of leaving Terminal 3 to their own devices here. They are in a lot of trouble. They're completely surrounded between the Alpha team pushing in on the straight. I told you it was going to be their Alamo. Yeah, Foxtrot and Echo, they're now pushing over. But the Alamo didn't exactly go well for the Americans, now did it? And well, it's not going to go well for Op4 here either. No, with three different squads pushing in on it from three different fucking directions, they're going to wither What the down fuck is that element doing? They're, gonna have to do a they're trying to do a wide flank back here. Position, but it's only going to be a matter of time. Now, the question now is how many Blue 4 are, uh, is this uh, garrison going to be able to kill to soften up the attack for, on Terminal 1, you know what I mean? So like I said earlier, if they can hold, and I said this at about the 25-30 minute mark, if they can hold for at least 15 minutes to eat the clock up to the 15 minute mark, which is going to be called in 5 minutes, they would have done their job because Blue Force still will have to quickly mount up and get to Terminal 1, but Op4 still has a decently sized defense force here. So if this Op4 force can hold for another 4 minutes and 50 seconds, I think they would have done their job admirably and they have nothing to worry about at that point. But now we got Stanners coming up to these mortar pits. I'm already watching this first person. He's pushing into these bunkers, this mortar pit. I'm wondering if he hears any kind of chatter or movement from the guy in there. Doesn't seem like it. Major Khan might have heard his footsteps though. And this kind of uh, uh, audio, uh, uh, oral environment. Sanders sees his shadow, though. Sanders saw Major Khan's shadow from the position. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Whether it was voice or shadow or whatever, something to. No, no. I, I literally watched him react to the shadow. Like uh, I, you rarely see that. It's just fine. because the sun's rising. That's crazy how that worked. He could have also seen his barrel, Infidel is No, no, I was watching. His barrel didn't come out too far, unless it was on your screen. But I, on my angle, it looked like he kept the barrel in there fine. But either way, that's a really good call there. And now you got Blue Force starting to close the distance here, getting right on top of this off four position from the SSR. Yeah, I'm just going to straight up follow Sanders first person. When Op4 spread thin like this, it's really risky. Standard, Wiki, trying to get a kill on Wiki, but he, yeah, Wiki's immediately going around for a flank attack. Standards, I think, was a pilot. He's got a pilot. Yeah, he's the co-pilot that the UH-60 dropped off. So Wiki he's now in a. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. 
Yeah, he's going on a one-on-one -on -one with Wiki now. Both of them uh, very much so FNF veterans. So this is mm -hmm. more than just kills. This is pride on the line for both of these guys. Shoots through up! What? what? Wiki just laughs. <laughs> Your American bullets cannot harm me. <laughs> I think he's lagging out. <laughs> yeah, that was um something. Wiki's... Uh, he moved. So... All right, yeah, Sanders is very... <laughs> um, Stupid British. Wait, Wiki's back! And Wiki's okay! He just shot at fucking Sanders! <laughs> what the fuck was that? All right, Blue 4 making this massive push. We just saw Tonka get shot. Might have been by Sanders, though. From that angle. No, it wasn't his kill, though. And then again, he didn't get Major Khan yet, so that was his kill. So Wiki just reloaded, but he's still in the same position. I don't know what's going on with him. I'm just going to keep on standards at this point. You're puny. UK bullets cannot do anything to me. UK, more like you cuck. Funny. All right, so Galil's also pushed in. Op for standards running up, knocking Swola down. He, he is channeling the inner Audrey Hado. Yeah, so that disruption, the chaos in the back lines of Red Wiki's Bull. just confused. Needs. I wait, he's moved now. What? <laughs> Wiki, call your shots, bro. How is he not dead? How is he not dead? How is he not dead? STS picked off by Standers as well. I'm so fucking done. Good job from Standards. We got we got 60 seconds left though, but Blue Four, that western flank is now actually turning to go to Terminal One, so it is starting to mute the point of Terminal Three here. I doubt Op Four is gonna be able to hold this with all of the Blue Four guys around it. But hey, at least if they knock out more dudes, they might force Blue Four to pull in some more reinforcements. But it's unlikely with how Sanders has been doing this pretty well. Six minutes until uh, 15 minutes is called, I believe. So One minute. Actually, less than 45 seconds. Oh, am I fucking off on my thing? Yeah, then in that case, yeah, then Red 4 has a decent uh, chance of holding off this assault. No, wait, you're right. It is six minutes. My bad. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, it is a 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah, just less than 20 minutes now. I don't know. There's not a lot of time left is the point. So if yep. Red 4 is, continue, is able to continue to hold Terminal 3 and uh, just fend off this attack just based on time, uh, Terminal 1 uh, could be... Yeah, we're seeing the, uh, the BTR pullback, uh, Smith, Bra, the 4IB guys, they're pulling back into the town itself of, of uh, Esperon. So they're, they're definitely going to try and uh, build up the defenses of this place, trenches, whatever the case is and hold this. Oh god, we have T5 Bay in here. And yeah. So by the way, Sanders picked up a, a stick of AT, was able to cripple Fergie, and now T5 Bay and uh, Felanity are starting to grenade, uh, grenade into Op4's remaining building here. They put a flare in there too. Wiki being shot at once again. Yep. Wiki, the unkillable. I mean, when you DDoS the servers like this, I guess it means you are God. And there he goes. Okay. Oh no, Wiki's dead! Why did I have to say anything? Anyway, yeah, Wiki's dead, he drops an RPG-26, and the Red 4 Garrison now crumbles. And I think... Uh, Sanders got the kill credit for it, by the way. It finally registered that he got headshotted by Sanders. <laughs> and there he goes, he, gets, he got kicked off because his server speed requirement. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. Oh my god. When you get kicked so hard, the server kick. <laughs> I can't. I'm sorry. All right. Yano and Fergie doing their best to hold here. Fergie, they're holding. Yano's dead. Yano's dead. Remaining. Did they still haven't initiated the terminal hack yet. No, but that that's... A Fergie might drop down from the second story as a P5 base quickly trying to do medical. Oh, that would have been some freaky. Okay. Chance. Apuba ventilates him with that 762 240 Bravo. Alright, Op4 also landing that little bird right here. They might try to quickly reposition some blue four guys. 
I'm sorry, Blue 4 lands the Little Bird. They might try to reposition. They did steal the Armed Gaz, so that can be used as well. Ooh, yeah, that PKT and the Gaz Tigers there, those are actually fairly well armored from small arms. Uh, those 545 AKs won't be able to do much against them. So between the Little Bird and the Gaz, they should have some decent mobility to attack this base. And like I said... UH-60 could also land and pick some dudes up. Sorry, go ahead. That, that is very true. Um, like I mentioned with those Mark V SOG boats, um, they have all that oh. armament on them. No one's manning them now, but if they're able to get uh, a couple of guys into one of them, they left him behind at Terminal 2 and the port of Vala. Um, between the M2s, the miniguns, all that shit. I don't think those are going to be... Assault. They're not going to be too usable, though, because Op4, the terminal itself, is too far up the coast. I doubt Blue 4 would get any good gun lines on them. Meanwhile, though, the Blue 4 marksman group actually stole a gas, dismounted about 30 seconds ago. They are now on the southern side of this AO, and they're going to start trying to get on this hill and engage it. The issue, though, is the surviving BTR-80 is over here, and this Blue 4 group doesn't have any way to deal with it. I stand corrected. They have the RPG-42. Where did they find that? That's Op 4's mat weapon. When did they get that? Mountain's flying overhead again. He, he uh, apparently got all of his uh, war trophies from the frigate, and now he's just flying overhead, popping flares. What? I heard what sounded like a... The gases don't have it, though. It the gases are complete. Don't have anything. Southwest of Terminal 1. G2. The uh, BTR is down. Yeah, we, we saw that. That BTR went down a while ago. Remember Vonk and the other guy got out of it? No, this is a different one, dude. No, this is the one I was just talking about with the marksman team, forehead. It happens to both of us, okay? I was showing someone what bottle of wine I was drinking. But yes, they are doing some great work. The fact that they killed a BCR means that they have done their work. So I apologize. So anyway, it's two marksmen and the Op4 Matt team weapon. Terminal 3 just detonated as you heard it in the distance, and now we have less than 16 minutes left for Terminal 1. Op4 still is a pretty sizable defense force, and they're pretty well spaced out around this AO. My fear, though, is that Blue 4 is going to be able to steamroll into this spot because of the sheer amount of infantry they have left over. Furthermore, they stole their two marksmen. They've blown up all of uh, Op 4's ground-based vehicles that are armed. And at this point, the uh, Op 4 just doesn't have any good support weapons at this point. So, I don't know. Yeah, with that last BTR going down, that means their last um, HMG is down. We sell a bunch of 4AB guys. They've proven uh, their metal. They're holding the uh, terminal building itself. So that's going to be a tough fight, just generally speaking, uh, for Blue 4 to crack. But we still have the guys on Tweaking top. Tweaking might take a shot on Mountain here. Because Mountain's flying low and slow, and these guys have the mat weapon. RPG hits it, and the engine's going out. This is why you don't dick around with something that took out a BTR. Yep, the engine's going down. He's dropping. Gotta try and... He's gonna hit a tree. Momentum. Slow no, momentum. no. Yep, no. UH-60 landing on the rooftop and is deploying stanners. And the engine got shot out and it's gonna fall at an angle. There goes the main rotor. Yeah, all right. So now you guys are here. Good luck. They still have a little bit to try and pick them up, but they gotta fend for their lives right they've now. Got a, they've got a GPMG guy, though. They could just harass yeah, Op4. For... Oh, this is fucking... They need to AT that UH-60, though. Dingo with the GL. He's lobbing HE over the lip. That was what we were talking about at the beginning. The lip yep. is gonna give him protection, but the GL is bypassing that completely. It's not gonna be able to blow up the helicopter, though, without multiple hits. Uh, Kane, Mike, Flux, and Jupiter need to hit it with AT, but I don't think they have any because they were the BTR crew that dismounted. Apuva's been just sh just showered in trap. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. I stand corrected. He's he's doing really well with these GLs. Hot yeah, damn. I think there's two of them as well. They are hitting directly. Yeah, that's um guys. the Platoon 1 HQ. They were, they've been up here since the beginning, and that... Yeah. I'm fairly surprised with how accurate they are. The flare falls short, but... Yeah, that was funny. I, I saw it coming in and then drop like a stone. That was funny. Um... What the hell are we witnessing? Uh, we're having some uh, uh, return fire coming out. Stanners, Stanners picked up an AK. Of course he did. Don't blame him. But yeah, Poofa had that 240, so uh, Stanners needs to push up 
and grab that off of them. This could be very uh, a very interesting skyscraper rooftop uh, firefight going between these. Mountain, the pilot for the MI8, still alive, uh, contending with Falcon. Falcon trying to get a rear headshot on Mountain as he's running away because Mountain is just trying to get back to Op 4's perimeter here to be one extra guy in the defense. Apuva is dead. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he took so much shrapnel. And Sanders took his um, GPMG. Yeah, that 240. With the General Eagles, purpose machine you know, gun. Yeah, it's going to do some work. He actually switches his... Okay. I don't know. Never mind about that. Uh, but yeah, that 240 is going to be very effective and uh, I think could be vital in this fight between the two teams. What the hell is the little bird doing? They've got a guy on the... Oh, they got a guy on the bench and he's trying to fire at the skyscraper crew! Down. And now I'm pretty sure someone got domed in that. Someone. No, there's still a plus two in there. God, the tracers. Mountain did wake up from that uh, MI8 crash. Yeah, he's duking out with uh, Falcon Buckets. The guy that was on the door gun is unconscious. And I don't know where the other guy is on that chopper, because uh, it says plus two, so it means there's a second dude on there, but I don't know. Up to the north, we have T5 Bay with that guy. Mountain's gotten back. A bunch of guys over here. He's loaded for bear. Probably going to try and uh, bum rush in on the eastern side of the compound. But these guys up here on the, this little peninsula, they need to find where those boats were left off at. Uh, one has been drifted out to sea to the north of their position. Barb. A few hundred meters. Barb, it's not a 50-minute round. It's not a 50-minute round. They extended it. Oh my god. Okay, so then we're in the dark as casters on this. This is... <laughs> it might be an hour instead of 50 minutes, which is just going to buy Blue for more time. And as you yeah. mentioned earlier, they might go for their boats again. I think that's exactly what they're trying to do now. That, I mean, that's what that makes sense with uh, them coming up to the, top, uh, to the top of this uh, uh, AO up here. These little uh, peninsulas that are the jutting book is Discord the rich presence. Uh, it's the perfect spot. I mean, that Mark V is over there. Probably about 300 meters. It's a short swim, but platoon. <sighs> Polirio, look at the town of Vala where Terminal 2 was. Sanders is the only guy alive right now. No, no, no. Ah, Collins, what a good job yeah. you've done hitting yeah. the boat on something and knocking yourself unconscious. So Blue Four is going to have to continue to wait for their boat. Classic. Doesn't matter if it's a 50 minute round. It looks like they took another boat. Yeah, they're going to at least get this boat. And then I think there's less than 25 or so people. So they'll all be able to fit in the other SOCOM boat. But that's... That's great. All right, I counted to 20. My rage is gone. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I swear. I'm good. I just, just slow breathing, counting up slowly. It's fine. Why are you so mad? It's only game. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is happening. All right. Otherwise, Blue Four is starting their assault. Also, Sanders is the only guy alive left on that skyscraper. But I don't know what he's going to do. And I don't know where Twig King is. He might have been taken out because I only see Falcon and Nuzzy left. Collins has welcome back up. Uh, the boat is damaged, but it is still seaworthy. Uh, Explosion traps going on right in front of Scandi Recon, but no kills because the uh, explosive satchels were hidden behind the trees, but those same trees blocked the explosive force into going uh, into Scandi Recon. So no damage. We still have all these guys up on the north side of the island. Now we have uh, Nelson was able to get that Mark V boat. Hey, look, Collins woke back up. Yep. I said that. Lee. I know. I'm fucking with you. Ooh, I just saw an Op 4 guy get picked off at, back at Terminal 1. Lolo is also down, though, for Blue 4, but Scandi's going to start advancing and picking apart guys on the eastern defense side uh, more southeastern actually at going into angus's tower angus is the only one up there the rest of his triplet for that tower is down he might also be wounded and 
I don't know, Blue Four could potentially uh, get a force in here though, but past this ridge is going to be a kill zone up to that perimeter, and they still have a lot of Op Four guys to pick apart. Very true, very true. And yeah, now they're all running these guys into the Mark V. Gonna be tr I'm sure they're gonna try and do a uh, some kind of dock landing, and there's not a lot of guys here ready to do this. We have Olaf in the um, northernmost battle tower. Uh, I'm seeing if he has any AT. He has an SVD, so mountain stole up gas and is driving away. Okay. In this firepower, uh, money guy here and Vong they're on the northeastern side. This could be pretty interesting. We just had a blue four dude shoot at his own little bird. That was weird. And Little Bird coming back, I think with dudes on the benches again. Yep, on the right bench. They're gonna try to hit the guys on the skyscraper, which one guy is dead, by the way. Probably picked off by the marksman, which is why the marksmen are hiding. And you have Stanners firing from the other skyscraper, trying to give some support. Yeah, Stanners still being alive on that skyscraper. Carl Gustav coming in on Smith's position with other Smith. Uh, but the Smiths appear to be okay. We have J Smith and E Smith. <laughs> We got Brandy and Bra. I thought it was two pairs of twins right there, but got uh, Yanni who's down being helped up by Mapnora. Still have Scandi Recon, uh, basically trying to control this ridge line with elements of TSB. And for the most part, I mean, Green uh, Op 4's southeastern most, most defense line has been taken out. The closest one uh, is down to 50% strength because there's four dudes in there. Now there's only two, but this uh, direct southern one. Uh, still has all four of its guys, and they're trying to contend. But Blue Four making some advances, and I think we're going to see the 15-minute timer get called in about a minute and 30 seconds. Otherwise, I have no idea how long this round's going to last. Oh, I would fucking hope so. And now with Scandi up here on this ridge line, firing into the, uh, the town. They have a good angle, but they've been counted with some good GLs. Little Bird still trying to take care of Dingo and Larson up here. And no real. Oh! Something got Explosive broken. traps. No, no, uh, I think a tail rotor might be broken in the little bird. I heard something break. I heard that sound cue, so. Uh, Alright. Might be out of commission. Possibly. There were some explosive traps that went off on the far uh, northeast, but they were too far from Blue Four to be effective. Mm. Blue Four just gave a question mark. I don't know what that was about. Vonka, Va Vonka, Vonk is down. Guy Fieri and Money are, over, are under heavy suppressive fire from what sounds like an MG team. Lusod gets taken down in return. He had a PKP, actually. That was what that machine gun was. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert coming in for another pass. Nemesis is on his own, being singled out by uh, some of the 4ID guys. Yeah, he's in a fucking rock and a hard place. He's rolling out of there DayZ style. We'll see how if he can survive. If he gets to that corner, he'll be good. Are you fucking oh, kidding me? I don't care if he killed me. Wait, him. he actually got a hit! He's gonna live. And he... Oh god, he's got wounds on all fucking limbs. But he does make it to that corner, so he should be able to live to uh, fight another Standers day. with the machine gun trying to pick up Dingo! Dingo picking up the other gun! Manages to get a kill on one of the bench guys! 50 minutes qual called right there. Wow, picked up his uh, dead friend's gun and actually got a kill with it on that helicopter. That's pretty fucking impressive. Uh, it's buckets. Okay, he's only knocked out. So blue four, with that 15 minute warning, they have to be careful here. We got op for. Blue Four is now toying with Larson. Larson has no gun ammo left. And they're shooting at him with a handgun. He's surrendering, but Larson gets knocked out. Grenades being thrown, but he got caught. Dingo going for, this, for the suicide push. He's trying to throw it out of short boy draws his handgun. Oh my God. Dingo, hop in the he's trying to steal uh he's trying to steal Vargan's button, but he's unable to! He's gotta to try to unload the passenger here! But because Buckets is still alive in Oh! Wait, Buckets is dead! No, he's not! Fuck! Now he's dead! He's got no ammo! Oh he <laughs> He's switched out! <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck was and that? Short boy, he shot Vargas. His handgun. Short boy, friendly fire, fangrin. 
What is this? What is this? What's that says this is some of the dumbest shit I agree with. I, yeah. Great content. Nemesis now coming up, trying to fight with the machine gunner and Smith, but the Smiths are too powerful and Nemesis is torn the fuck apart. Yanni now coming over to see what that firing was about. Vagrant wakes back up. And you still have Standers alive, and you might try to pick off uh, the group over by Clown. And that's exactly what he's trying to do with the stolen AK. And he manages to knock money out. And now he's going for Guy Fieri. Knocks him out as well. Oh. I can't. I honestly can't. What has this round been? Let me find Standers. He's on Standers. The co-pilot is on six, six kills. kills. And he is shooting more people, and Op4 has no idea where those shots are coming from. Hold up, we got some return fire going. It's found out. Flux figured it out. Oh, very interesting. We have CP2 of 2505 Hitman and Thecky on the Bark. southern side. Mm -hmm. Yes? Oh, I'm just going to say, they shut the engine off on the uh, Little Bird because they can't fly it again because I believe it's disabled. That's why Mountain didn't try to fly off with it. So Hitman got... Clown also knocked out. Somewhere? And now it's just uh, Thecky down on this flank by himself. Still some RCC guys pushing over the hills to the south-southeast. And yeah, Blue Force... Oh, Blue Force... On the northern side. Yep, the naval charge. Fives. Using both of the Mark Fives, Blue Four has made a fucking D-Day landing. Also using the, the gas, Sayo trying to find an opening into the port itself. He's going to be able to find it on the flank right here. Uh, but he may not go that far. Yeah, he's just going to bail out instead, which is fine. But with the amount of Blue Four guys coming in here and the very limited amount of Op Four defenders, I, I think this is over. I mean, what are we at? 11 minutes and change? Uh, Blue Four is going to get there in two. No. At not most. Two. Not in two. At in least, five. like, 30. I, I, what? I think they're going to get there in about five. And if the, uh, Do you not see where Delta One is right now? They're literally right next to the damn thing. I said two at most. Delta, yeah, they're, they're making their way, but it's T5 Bay and Holton. I mean, two guys. T5 Bay and Holton. T5 Bay, the T5 Bay that is the second best player in FNF behind Nemesis. You're telling me this man is going to take Same five Nemesis minutes. That, that fucking ran over Nimia? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just That's DeVincer. Nemesis is the guy that got mowed down by the Smiths. Where are you getting this information, Barb? I don't know. Are you okay? Are you already drunk? My chat went drink, 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 and I did a chug from the bottle. So yeah. Why? How are you drunk on wine? Because it's a goddamn leak. Mountain is unconscious. He just got double tapped by Collins. The remaining garrison on the eastern flank is getting torn apart here. It's just up. Olaf wakes back up, actually. It's Purdy, Schmidt, and Olaf. But they have a massive amount of blue four guys here. They have managed to kill two of them, though, and stall everything. But there goes Purdy getting knocked out. Schmidt going to try to medic, but Colin's coming around back here. He might get picked. Oh, he is picked off by Angus. It's fucking, you're a dingus. T5 Bay and Alton. Angus! You're a you're still a dingus. I stand by my point. Fence T5 Bay coming up to the terminal site now. As you mentioned, he's going to have to fight with Deneldo, Pads, and Horny Badger. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Holton yep. trying to join him, but one of the Smiths picking off Holton. T5 Bay making sure he's checking all angles. I'm really surprised Op4 didn't sneak a guy under to shoot at people's feet. I, I'm, like, there's no one really watching the area. They're just holding the doors, which is not... Oh! T5 Bay trading with Horny Badger there. A little desync spike there, because in my opinion, T uh, Bay knocked him out first. But all Blue Four needs to do is trade one to one like that, and they'll at least win. CO now getting out another veteran player in T5 Bay's bracket. Horny wakes back up, though, but 5 Bay, he tried to wake up, but he is uh, unconscious locked. 
Hmm. So lucky break by Op4 there, but now we got multiple blue four guys coming in. The Smiths are gonna do their best to try to pick off some of the blue four guys coming in. Managed to knock out Broche here. Paladin trying to pop a grenade, but it's going to be short. This uh, Red Fort Garrison to the west has actually been infiltrated by Burna from the RCC. Yep. Uh, and only Flux and Mike are left standing. So we have a one versus two fight over here. But it's going to be pretty much irrelevant with Sale, Holden, and uh, Paladin coming on this objective. Red Fort got a couple of... Uh, uh, actually, just... Grenades being thrown in the terminal site. Knocks out pads. The pads does go down in response to Sale's gunfire. Little Bird was repaired. It is lifting off. Seal throwing some grenades and knocking out pads. They return with their own grenades, knocking out Seal. So we got Paladin and Holton here on the outskirts. Uh, there is about six and a half minutes remaining for this round, but with Blue Four, just the sheer amount right here. Unless Olaf can do something. Vagrant is coming down. He's landing on the fucking HQ building. Okay. Top part for the course. Vagrant pushing in on his own. And gets mowed the fuck down. Short boy looking down, wondering what the hell just happened. Whatever. Short boy with a minus one kill. Throws a grenade at the wrong time, and Dodo pushes up the stairs, killing him. Oh, but the building is damaged now. If someone hits that little bird and explodes, that's it for the Op4 Garrison. I have faith in Edwin because it's one letter away from Erwin. Short boy waking up, getting knocked out by Horny Badger. And now we have more blue for reinforcements in the form of the marksman team. Falcon doesn't skip. They're pushing in the front door as well. Falcon's looking into that. Wow. Falcon. Edwin getting picked off. No, we're not Edwin. Grenade getting thrown out. Might knock out Bart, because it's right next to him. It doesn't, but it does significant damage. Grenade gets thrown in there. But it was a missed throw, and it knocked out Nuzzy. Paladin now coming down. Coming down the stairs. Well. Boys, and Falcon's body throws a nade onto their bodies. And it knocks out Falcon as he woke back up. Amazing, amazing. And the fucking little bird rotor is still going. This is chaos. It's causing a lot of smoke right here. Op 4 has to hold for another 5 minutes, 45 seconds. I, I, I don't see it happening. They are the last surviving remnants. The medic from Platoon HQ. Rod running in. Picks off Horny Badger. Now you got Dental though trying to knock him out. A C5 A pops a fresh mag. Bart coming in. Bart, Bart doing it, Dildo getting tripped. Clearly four blue four, five blue four guys coming in. Terminal hack initiated. And they're dead. All of Op4 is down or dead at this time in the AO. And that, that that's going to be it. That That is a successful blue four victory. For better or for fucking worse, no matter all the shit that we saw, all the fucking weird ass shit between Wiki, Falcon, Dendleville, Badger, like all of these people. They're trying to wake some people back up, but oh my god. The short boy on, on minus two now, I really want to see. No, he's still on minus one, but fucking hell. Yeah, all of Red 4 is down or dead, like you said, and that's pretty much gonna be it I, I I mean red four gave up quite the fucking fight you know for all that they did they did a very good job blue four just I wouldn't even say that they had better assets they they worked through the terrain as best they could using a uh, very good tactics, especially around terminal three with terminal three the the um, the balancing by fire and the three pronged assault that they had going on with the town of Amato, uh pretty much made that attack. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, effective, but more so than that, like very much coordinated. They didn't take a ton of casualties heading in. They, they were luckily they were lucky in. Uh, How did the little bird survive that? 
Because they repaired it. I don't know, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's go down. Listen to round three. Do we have to?